may I now have the honor to lead the ritual. This event is a joint collaboration between the Office of Multicultural Interest and the Buddhist Council of Western Australia. Well, good morning, everyone, and can I uh, also thank uh, Jerry for uh, her welcome to country, very gracious. And I think uh, uh, it, there's a lot of commonality with the Buddhist, the Buddhist faith and our uh, First Nations people. The, Watch up and up people in terms of serenity and peace and inclusion and their uh, appreciation of the country. It's a great pleasure to be celebrating VSAC uh, at Parliament House this morning. Uh, and this is a very appropriate place for you to be today. Western Australia is home to many faiths and cultures, including a thriving Buddhist community. And as many of you will know, Buddhism is now the third largest faith in Western Australia behind Christianity. One of the countless advantages of living in a multicultural society is that we can learn from the insights of many faiths and many cultures and have the opportunity to experience festivals like the Sac. Although the Buddha was born more than two and a half thousand years ago, his teachings are as relevant today as they were when they were first revealed. The Buddhist ideals of community harmony, peace, mutual respect and understanding are values that are essential to everyone. In fact, they are the very concept of a multicultural society. And for many Western Australians, Buddhist practices like mediation and mindfulness are becoming increasingly important in the 21st century for people from all walks of life. And I'm sure my parliamentary colleague will agree there's probably many members of this place that can benefit from mediation <laughs> and mindfulness. This is what is so profound, I think, about the Buddha's teaching, because I think he was the original riches to rags story. Um, a man who threw off his wealth, his privilege, and pursued enlightenment. He was the pathfinder, I think, for us all. Um, I want to reflect as well on, on something the minister just said. We embrace people of many backgrounds, many ethnicities. We probably don't reflect enough upon their beliefs, their faiths, and perhaps we should put them at the centrepiece. And I think it is appropriate that we celebrate Vesak today. I would like to also express my appreciation for the guidance from the monastic, from all traditions who are here today, and all the lay Buddhist leaders you have built and helped to look after your community and bring together other communities through a lot of government initiatives like the Harmony Day, Clean Up Australia Day, Tree Planting Day, Blood Donation Drive, the Multicultural uh, uh, Festival and the Buddhist Festival uh, in the Perth Supreme Court Gardens and Veg Run and there are many, many more. You have made tremendous contributions to the society uh, through this cultural, social, and charitable efforts. Thank you. Monastics in the Buddhist, all Buddhist traditions in Australia, I'd like to extend that warm, reciprocate the warm welcome that Auntie Jerry gave us this morning. It's not born again into this world. In this auspicious day, I would like to extend our chanting blessings to a world peace prayer by our founding master for Gongshan, Masashimi. Great compassionate Buddha, today we gather before you in prayer. Please listen to our heartfelt words. There is so much suffering and sorrow in this world. The power struggles amongst international communities have caused us many wars.